Good morning, everyone. Well, it's afternoon, but I always say good morning. Somewhere in the world, it's morning. So, uh, well, I promised I would show you the dried pieces, and these are dry. As you can see, uh, the lacing uh, just stays there. Uh, that's normal. Everything I pour, I never have my cells or the lacing sort of deteriorate or something like that. It always stays exactly like I, you know, swipe them. So uh, this was just, you know, where I cleaned the, uh, the scraper. That's pretty nice. As you can see here, they're all ready to be cut into little pieces. <clears throat> now, a lot of you are wondering what I'm going to do with this. And uh, I've been telling you about the panels and what I was, uh, that I was going to do a collage on them. Uh, now, now my oh, there it goes. That's better. Well, I'm I'm doing a lot of textures, and this upcoming week, I will be doing textures some more. My my camera, I have new plastic on my table. It is uh, black, and um, it has really a lot of trouble focusing and getting uh, so much reflections that it's doing something to my camera. So every once in a while, I have to change it. So as you can see here, oh, got to be careful, some of it is wet. Um, I'm testing out some, this is called Metal Effect Film Adhesive. Um, if you have the film film stuff that, that is comes in all colors, but I've got the gold, uh, what you do is you can really see how fine that is. I just put that on, and here I put it on, and I pulled a, a couple of stripes in it but here I put the foil on top of it and it's uh, something that I really like because it's sort of raised and it uh, gives you a sort of a 3d effect the only thing is uh, I think I have to uh, let it dry a little bit longer that it's really a little bit more tough and then I have to put it on because I put this on yesterday and it was totally really flat and now it's sort of see where it gets a little bit wrinkly because I think the uh, the glue sort of shrunk a little that's what gives you the little tiny little uh, creases in the in the gold so I'm gonna that's why I'm gonna try it out again so this I just put on and this not this this is just something I tried out but that and that, and I'm going to leave that to dry for 24 hours, and then I'm going to put going to put the foil on. But if you didn't know this stuff existed, that's what it's called. Um, it's a film adhesive, so it dries, but it stays really sticky. So when you put your foil on and you rub it with your finger, you can pull it off, and it's on there, and it's really pretty. So um, that was something I just thought I'd share with you guys. And now we're going to go back to pouring. So let's get the papers. And I have my swipey thing somewhere. I have a little swipey thing, my big swipey thing. I, I don't know where I left that. Oh, there it is. So I've been busy this morning. I had to wash the dog and I had to trim him because he had uh, too much hair and uh, so every once in a while you have to do that and then I did some backgrounds with gold and which you have to paint three times the gold I use is Vallejo artist acrylics and it's uh, like I said the artist quality so um, it is transparent so if you want to do something on white you'll have to paint that like three times before it really gives you that beautiful shine but I have not found any paint that compares to the Vallejo gold because it is beautiful it really is so uh, that's what I've been doing this morning and I have to answer some of your questions of course still haven't done that well I did a few but not enough and right now I'm just going to uh, be doing a lot of swipes. So here we go, swipey one. Oh, that's a nice one. Then I always think, why isn't the page a little bit longer? Because I would have loved to have that, you know, 
come down a little bit more. And there goes all my paper. I'm going to do it from really up high that I get really nice ones. Can you see them popping? <laughs> they are pretty. Maybe I should get you in a little closer. You can really see them pop. Wow, that is really beautiful. Let me get you in focus. Really, up. look at that. I'm not sure if you guys know what I mean when I say it looks 3D. It looks like the white is on top and then there are like these little, I don't know, <laughs> little, little cups of paint and then the white around it, which is raised. That's what it looks like. But when it's dry, it's just totally flat, but it does look a little bit 3D that I kind of love. So I'll just put that one down there. Oops, there goes my camera again. Well, there you go. So that's in focus. And we'll do another one, but I think I would like one without the green in it and a little bit more of the dark blue so let's see if we can do that just you know to mix it up a little bit or I have keep having the same sort of backgrounds so what I'm gonna do with it is I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do a painted background <clears throat> but the panels will have a background and then with all these things I'm um, sort of creating all the textures and everything. Uh, I want to, do I have enough of that? No, I don't have this color. Uh, I want to do something on top of it and I'm just not sure how to explain it. So I'm hoping to get my uh, supplies in by Monday. They said said it would be there. It's, it, it's from Spain. Uh, I found some um, website online website and those people have the most amazing collections of papers see I, I just hate it that I don't well that's two of them let's see what works so uh, and I did order some because I need something with structure in it sort of like linen paper maybe a little bit there now that is mainly really a lot of blue uh, which I kind of like let's do one more of those although when it has a little bit of green in it it does bring it to life you know it sort of really looks like it reminds me of the sea I guess this one too but with a little bit of green in it I kind of like that so we're gonna do that one more again only we're going to start up a little higher let's do that because I want to pull it down a little bit further than this one or the previous ones let's put in a tiny little bit of green like a few drops maybe that's it And I want some more. Oh, that one. We didn't have that one yet. There you go. And then a little bit more of the blue. Okay, that's it. I'm going to put that up here. Maybe not use too much of that white paint, that might help. But now I don't have anything to clean my swipey thing off with. Okay, it's clean. Let's see. Mm, 
that's pretty long. I'll get you in close. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's see if I got you in focus. Yeah, pretty much. Although I do see it a little bit sharper like that. That is pretty. I do like it now when with a tiny little bit of green. That makes it sort of different, doesn't it? Let's do that again. I've got to make sure I have some room. Now you're really up close. Clean the swipey thing. There you go. Just a drop here and there. Don't want too much of it. And then we're going to put the white up top. That's that. And then we're going to swipe it. Now let's see. I can think I can put it up a little higher. There you go. There it is. Maybe just one more there. Now you can see that if you do this, if if your white is too thick, which is the case up here, you don't get any lacing. You get a couple of little cells and that's it. But where it's really thin on top of the, your colors, that's where you get the lacing. So that's the trick to getting really nice lacing. Now that's four of them. I do want to do one bigger one because I might need that. So I'll zoom you back out. There you go. And I'm going to do one bigger one and I'm going to swipe it with uh, another piece of paper. So this is going to be a lot of paint. I got a lot of paints. I didn't even realize I had that much paint. But this is all I'm going to need for a while. I'm not going to do any more, guys. This is the last one. I know you've heard it all before. Me saying, this is the last one, and then I'll just go on and on and on. But now, i got to do other stuff. got to answer some of your questions on YouTube. You can't really go wrong, you know. It doesn't matter how you do this. You just mix up some colors. That's all there is to it. A little bit more of this dark turquoise. And then I do want a couple of drops of the green. Not too much. That's enough. Then I'm going to give it, because I'm going to swipe it, and maybe a little bit more, because I do want to swipe it 
from up here. That way I get just a little bit more. Oops, almost put my stick in the wrong color. Okay, now we're gonna swipe it with this. Let's see if that works. Ew, it's creating a lot of bubbles. That didn't work too well. See all the holes that I have? Okay. What I could do is take like something like this and just pull it together a little bit because I don't want to see that bare paper. I don't really like that. That's where the spots are. Let me take off a little of the paint of here. That's okay. That's working. Okay. Now I'll get these long bits. There you go. That's a lot of lacing. <laughs> See, now I want to do another one. Okay, just one. One of those big ones. Oh, and I'll use the same paper I just used. Let me get the camera back in focus. I'm going to use that. So maybe then the color is going to mix in with the white. That might be really uh, something different. And I think I'll swipe this before I swipe it with white. What about that? Now, when I'm busy with those textures, guys, you know, there's so many things popping in my head. I'm really enjoying myself making all those textures because I think, you know, the art that I'm going to make it has to be that I make everything myself. So all the background papers and all the the different things, it has to be all handmade because I think that's really important. Uh, you know, you can't just take ready-made stuff and put it in there. I'm not sure about that yet. Maybe I'm, I, I, I'm not sure. But at the moment, I'm just thinking, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to uh, put anything in there that I didn't make myself because that's artsy, right? Okay, a little bit of green here and there. Drop there and drop there. Okay, let's put, no, first we're going to swipe it, like I said. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay. Then, now I can fill in the little holes I see here and there. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm just going to try out to see if it works. Okay, it's fully covered. Now I'm going to put the white on top. Okay, and now I'm going to swipe it, but I'm thinking not to swipe it with that side. Now I'm going to swipe it with this side. Ooh, that is pretty. I'm sure this is going to work. There we go. Okay, it worked. So uh, that's another way you can do it. Now the you can see that the green is not as um, intense as on the other ones because we swiped everything first, but it, this gives a really nice look. I love it. 
Okay, this is it. This 20 minutes of swipes, I can't do anymore. I'll bore you all to death. But this is really pretty. I love it. I'm really happy with this one. Okay, that was it for me for today. Uh, now you've seen my studio last week. So uh, it's clean though. I just cleaned it this morning also. So guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you all have a beautiful week ahead of you. Stay safe. Don't let Corona bite you. And uh, <laughs> sorry about that. But the whole Corona thing. So we're still in lockdown, by the way. I cannot go to a shop because all shops have been closed for the last six weeks or something. And I'm dying to get to a shop to buy stuff. So I'm sort of ordering online. But every time I order something, I have to wait like a week or 10 days. And then I don't want to order anything else because I first want to see what I've ordered. And you know, you get the idea. It's a pain in the uh, rear end. So... Uh, Thanks all for watching, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye.